Now, not Nick Foles. That would be the dumbest thing in the world to bring Nick Foles. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're trying to go for it with Jalen Hurts, and you bring Nick Foles back to this town? Live from the Prop Swap Studios of AM 1490 Sports Betting Radio and distributed by the Jacob Media Network. It's Extending the Play with John McMullen, powered by PropSwap. PropSwap that ticket and cash in while the odds have improved. Are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody was giving a dream of how this season was going to end up. Each and every one of you. You got to please look down at yourself and figure out what you're going to do. Are you willing to fight, scratch, punch, take, drop them, punch, run, 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 baby, get set, back on track. I can't take my better space to do it this night, man. Come on, do one, two, three, nine. It's your time, South Jersey, and our time on AM 1490 Sports Betting Radio for extending the play with your host, NFL insider, John McMullen. Today's program is presented locally by the Malamut Law Firm and Remax Real Estate and powered regionally by Bet River Party Poker and Dunkin' Donuts. Now, here's John McMullen. E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! 10 o'clock straight up down the shore. It's another Saturday edition of Extending the Play right here on AM 1490 Sports Betting Radio on the 6th of February 2021. Alongside Johnny Mac, John McMullen, I'm Rich Quinones. We'll take you up to 11 o'clock. And Johnny Mac, we learned a couple things this week. We learned that you and I can get into a heated conversation about a lousy groundhog seeing his shadow. <laughs> was that which, heated? Yeah, well, it wasn't heated, but I learned a lot. It was good dialogue. It, was good, it dialogue. was good. We don't, you and I don't get heated, but that was probably an intense conversation. We also learned that, hey, guess what? At the end of the day, this is the NFL, and you might be able to trade franchise quarterbacks. And we also learned there might be a little bit of a distraction tomorrow for one head coach, Andy Reid, the biggest stage, Super Bowl Sunday, Tampa Bay and Kansas City. And with that, how are you this Saturday morning? I'm doing well. Super Bowl edition of Extending the Play, and that's excited. But, of course, we can't get to the game, and I'm really excited because we're going to have Colin Thompson, tight end for the Carolina Panthers, South Jersey treasure on the program. Uh, and that's good, Rich, because Carolina is obviously in the NFC that's South. Right, a little scouting report. Yeah, they prepare for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers twice a year. They also play the Kansas City Chiefs. They almost beat the Chiefs. So it's going to be interesting. Colin will have – all the information on those two defenses and and foreshadowing a little hint, I think that's going to de- de- it's going to define this game. Everybody's going to talk about the quarterbacks, understandably so. But I think whoever performs well on the defensive side of the ball or performs a little bit better, I think is going to win that football game. And but before we get into Super Bowl f- uh, Fifty Five, uh, the Eagles won't let us get away from them. They, they, I thought something was going to be honest with you. I thought something was going to drop last night, and then all of a sudden, you just kind of hide it underneath the Super Bowl, and then turn around yeah, on Monday. Kinda, and, there's that old rule in the NFL: don't disturb of course, the Super Bowl. Of course, but it's a Friday. Yeah, and it's a Friday news drop. they could have got it done, uh, but now I think you're going to have to wait till next week, and everybody will just take a pause for the big game. Uh, as I said, sort of an unwritten rule, but I do think it's pretty clear. Look, something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and I got to give Howie Roseman credit. People don't realize how good he is at stuff like this. And I compare it to the lion. Uh, what do lions do when they're hunting? They look for the weak one in the herd. The weak one is Ryan Pace in Chicago. <laughs> and he's focused on Ryan Pace. Hey, Rich, I guarantee you. Uh, Chris Ballard's not giving up two first round no, picks for no, Carson Wentz. No, Lentz. and nor should he. No. And, and I made a point. During the week when that kind of fake rumor came out about Andrew Luck uh, coming back out of retirement. And then it was that domino effect. And I brought it up on my show as well. I think you and I might have talked about it, too. Um, When you had that one quarterback domino to fall and then we saw Jared Goff get traded and you start to connect the dots where, okay, Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, we're always going to compare those two. Look what the Rams were giving up and getting in return and the contracts. And now... We thought on paper the Colts would be the top potential destination. I joked with you, and I'm pretty sure we said it about the Bears, and it wouldn't be something if they traded back Nick Foles. (laughs) But but at this point, you brought it up pre-show. You brought up a great point. 
if you really want to get out of town, you can really force your way out of town. And yeah, I, I mean, I've always yeah. said that. I, I've been very honest on the air, and people are, you know, people on social media, they're already jumping on, oh, Johnny Mac said he'd never approve that dead money hit. I, I, yeah, but, but that's you, your opinion, and that's you're my along opinion. with a lot of other yeah. people in the media and NFL guys have said and, the same thing. And by thing. the way, the caveat, the context on the end is, okay, anybody can force their way out if they want to be a malcontent. Uh, and, and the second part is, yeah, I didn't think Jeffrey Lurie would be the guy to approve that kind of dead money hit, which again, 38, $33.8 million. Yep. Uh, the current record is Jared Goff. Yep. Just just said it, twenty two point two million. So what what we said, and I said on your show earlier in the week, uh, bringing up Jerry Seinfeld again. That's a big matzo ball, Rich. It is. And 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 if you're Carson Wentz, be careful what you wish for too. At the end of the day, right? Be careful what you wish for because ultimately you have a situation where. If you do get stuck or you get traded and you go to Chicago, let's be honest, you don't have a ton of weapons out there <laughs> compared to well, what— you better get Allen Robinson but, Yeah, you better— so, yeah, Exactly, yep. So be careful what you wish for. And, and you know, the point is in this league, and there's always— because there's different—you're in different stages, every team. You know, there's, there's championship-level teams that we're going to see tomorrow— uh, there's teams that are rebuilding. The Eagles, Jeffrey Lurie himself has called this a transition period for the Eagles. Obviously, we're only three years off. The Eagles championship, that seems like uh, 30 years ago uh, by how long and, and sure. how things have changed here in, in the Delaware Valley. So everybody's in a different phase. And Ryan Pace, what phase is he in? I got to save my job phase. Think about the quarterback decisions in Chicago, and everybody will focus on Mitchell Trubisky, right. which is bad enough. You make a you make a misevaluation of a player, but you also trade up one spot where it's you a, don't yeah, have to. Yeah, it's a bad to. look. Yeah, it, it's a it, double whammy. Yeah. Double whammy, and then you look at Mike Glennon. They gave him all that money back in the day. You trade for Nick Foles. He can't. He essentially gets his opportunity, gets benched again for Mitch Trubisky, part injury, but more part benching. And and it was actually Trubisky that led that team to the playoffs. Point being, this guy has made bad decision, bad decision, bad decision at the quarterback position. He's only got one more shot or he's going to get fired. And can I actually take it? Back for a second to an Eagles standpoint when you're talking about the GM and the head coach and what they're going to have to potentially deal with in Chicago. Conversely, what about a new head coach in Philadelphia? Now, you, if they trade Carson Wentz, they're going to have to go out and sign a veteran quarterback. You cannot, you know, I can't encapsulate Hertz's career in four games and say he's going to be the answer. And the point I bring it up is because it's an aging roster. You got injury prone players that you're getting rid of. You've got a young head coach that, as Johnny Mack likes to say, you know, winning the press conference, what does it really mean? Sounded very nervous. You have a GM that, you know, again, is very good with the numbers, but you don't know his mindset. You have a potential meddling owner, and now all of a sudden you're going into a season with Jalen Hurts and a rookie head coach. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it is. That tells you that's rebuilding. Now, I, I agree with you. And you would think conventional thinking is, yeah, Jalen Hurts uh, coming off a rookie season where he started four games, you know, basically played four and a half games. And remember, this is a second round pick. This isn't a top 10 pick where you look at, okay, this guy's elite from a skill set standpoint. You would think you want to get a veteran backup, some type of Ryan Fitzpatrick. I always joke. That's the thing in the NFL. What's your favorite bridge? Is it Brooklyn, Golden Gate? Ryan Fitzpatrick is my favorite bridge quarterback of all time. But nonetheless, you need somebody like that in there. But I'll also tell you, hey, Rich, you would think a rookie head coach who's never done it before would like a sounding board with some experience on his coaching staff. They haven't done that either. You, so, so who knows? Who you, knows what this team thinks? Do you think it would be... In, when it's all said and done, when the dust and the smoke settles, do you think it would be a mistake to trade Carson Wentz? <laughs> you know, it's funny. If Howie Roseman, uh, uh, and I said this on, on Ryan's show, uh, if Howie Roseman can get two first-round picks and a player for, for Howie Roseman, do you want to trade somebody with that kind of value? 
No, you actually, you you almost would say if you're willing to do that, then maybe you can get a little more hold or or yeah, hold. Well, the, well, 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 my thinking uh, is right. What what the other teams and 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 Howie knows better than than any of sure. us. If it is just one guy, right? And if Chris Ballard's offering a third round pick, and Ryan Pace is so desperate, right? He's ordering. He he's going straight to the moon. Uh, how he knows that. So he knows, okay, I'm taking advantage sure. of this guy. But if there's truly a bidding war, what, uh, and other teams think Carson Wentz is still that type of player, don't you have to think to yourself, maybe we should try to fix this guy? Wouldn't you try to? Wouldn't you yeah, think that? or see if you can squeeze another draft pick or even. Well, but yeah. again, right? But you're right. If. But it's not always – listen, the people outside the room always think more highly of the person inside the room as opposed to the people that are within the organization. We Right? What happens when Next a coach year. gets fired? Yeah. Well, you know, he was a good – hey, man, then why'd you fire him in the first place? So, Well, but that's my point. You know, people have made uh, excuses for Carson Wentz all season, at least the Carson Wentz camp, at bad right. coaching, bad play calling. He's got no <laughs> weapons. The injuries on the offensive line. So, I, I mean, a lot of it depends on the Eagles' internal evaluation, and that tells you if they're going to trade them, that eternal, internal evaluation isn't very good. No. And, 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 and that's where we are in this particular stage. And i got to admit, I'm already given, you know, the Sporting News Executive of the Year Award to Howie Roseman, who has taken a lot of hits in this town. If he can pull this off and get significant significant assets in the form of draft picks, maybe a player. Now, not Nick Foles. That would be the dumbest thing in the world to bring Nick Foles. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're trying to go forward with Jalen Hurts, and you bring Nick Foles back to this town? That kid will never. Then you might as well trade that kid. I know. Uh, he, would never, he would never have a, a fair shot, a fair shake. So, yeah, it's going to be very uh, interesting to see. You know, it'll it'll uh, bear worth watching, no doubt. <laughs> it certainly will. It will be. And this soap opera's got to end. I'm hoping. And if Howie's listening, closed circuit. Please end this by next week. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> and and I wish you would have ended it last night because we got it. We got a big game to talk about. Huge. What? I'll, uh, listen. Uh, Reed's son again, uh, one of his other sons yeah, in the man, news. And- that line hasn't moved. It's still sitting at three in most books. And now all of a sudden, you know, the distractions. It's just, this is the last thing you would want 24, 48 hours before kickoff. Yeah, and you think about COVID. I mean, if there was no COVID, they'd already be in Tampa. That's all right. All these butterfly effects. And yep. Such a strange year, such a strange situation. If there wasn't COVID, I'd be in Tampa doing extending play from from Tampa Bay, and I wish I was in Tampa. It's going to snow again, Rich. Uh, it's, see, that's what I'm saying. A stupid, uh, lousy, freaking groundhog. Pucks a Tony Little Phil. guy, can't get rid of him. Pucks a Tony Phil, not uh, too popular in the Rich Q household, no. but somebody who is is Colin Thompson. We're going to have him after the break, a tight end for the Carolina Panthers, also a former New York Giants, so Rich will like that. Uh, more extending the play, Super Bowl 55 edition. AM 1490 Sports Betting Radio.